Oh me, oh my, the plot thickens. Oh, we got some new Mario news too. This video's about to be lit, bro. Oh, that's right, what's up? All right. started with the video the first thing you have to do when you watch an obi-wan plays video is click the thumbs up i know dudes are like oh obi-wan why are you telling us to click the thumbs up video at the beginning of the video we should be clicking it at the end of the video no because it's gonna be fire from the beginning boy all right bro the xbox series our first news item we're gonna talk about that mario we're gonna talk about um holiday console launch it launches and we're going to talk about um another switch release um confirmed date but first the first news item the plot is getting thick with this whole xbox series x versus playstation 5 which one is really the most powerful is it really 10 teraflops when it's really nine teraflops sony just stretching it or which console is the fastest um playstation got blast processing booyah take that sonic the hedgehog does what nintendo don't but there's a twist in the plot bro xbox some eagle-eyed xbox fans on twitter have spotted that even after PlayStation 5's claim and that disaster of a um, GDC conference, developer development conference, where Mark Cerny said our console is on paper, should our SSD, and this is what you have to be careful, he didn't say our console, the SSD, the solid state drive, is faster on paper. But on Microsoft's website, it's still saying fastest and most powerful. Xbox is still claiming that their console is the fastest and the power debate. Stop it, Sony fans. The Xbox is more powerful. That's just on paper. Nothing you can do about it. But this fastest claim by Microsoft still intrigues me because. This is what you have to think. I. This is what. This, hey, this is a bold prediction. Microsoft's gonna let Sony keep talking about how fast they solid state drivers, load speeds. Which even if it is, I really don't care. Four seconds versus three seconds getting into my game. Whatever, bro. I just want to make sure my game looks better and runs better, which is what this console provides. But. But I'm wondering if Microsoft is just like, go ahead, keep talking about your fast console. And they have one more ace in their hole. Because of the console being more powerful, they've done something to where they're utilizing the GPU to help out on the side. I'm not a tech dude, but I know this is possible because you could, you could even on my PC, um, for the, the, the software that I'm using to stream right now, I'm utilizing my GPU power. Um, I have an option <coughs> to run it off how the um, hardware was meant, the standard uh, CPU, the, how the software is meant through the standard CPU, or there's an option to utilize my GPU to have everything load faster and quicker on the program that I'm using right now to talk to you guys. And so, I'm wondering, Microsoft still knows something we don't know that they're like oh because of our system architecture and the teraflops that we're using we have a uh, uh, a method to where I games load uh, super fast still utilizing that solid-state driving the GPU I'm just saying they still claiming something bro because I know you can say well, they're just saying it's the fastest and most powerful console they have built. But <coughs> that's not how they're advertising it. 
It just says the new Xbox Series X fastest. Period. <laughs> There's a period right after fastest and most powerful. Period. So that's their marketing that they are fastest and most powerful. Your turn, Sony. <laughs> All right. We have more news items. More details have emerged concerning this super um, Mario explosion of games that will be coming um, reportedly this year. Now, I tweeted out. Why you ain't let me go to my profile? This, I hate this mobile Twitter, bro. Bro, yeah, here it is. Bro, I tweeted out yesterday. This is what I tweeted out. Y'all remember this? Looks like we could be getting the 3D version treatment in 2020 on Switch of Super Mario All-Star. Super Mario All-Star was a collection of the best and greatest Mario games all wrapped up in one. Now, the latest leak is saying Mario Galaxy... Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64 will all be one package, will be all shipped together in one package a la Super Mario All-Star and Super Mario 3D World will be a separate, a separate game with new content. My thoughts. Now, I'm thinking more and more, these games are just going to be upscaled in HD, 1080p, probably 60 frames per second. And it's still going to use the same graphical assets as the original games. I was hoping, I was hoping that they would completely redo the assets in at least Mario 64 and remaster the game, bro. Um, with a completely new art style, a new engine, and the game just looks completely different from the Nintendo 64 original. But the fact that these games might be all bundled in one, and Nintendo's going to sell them for $60 all together, I don't know Nintendo will put that time and effort in a 3D game to, um, to do that. Fingers still crossed, but we'll have to see. Either way, it's going to be... Um, a cool, cool, cool bundle. These these are all three fantastic games. Uh, so the value for 60 bucks will still be lit. Even if it's just upscaled to HD, um, it'll still be good. Now, the whole Mario 3D world, for me, I don't know yet. If they're going to um, release this game at um, a full $60, which is what Nintendo's been doing with um, these um, Wii U ports, Mario, Mario Kart. Mario Kart was 60 bucks, bro. Mario Kart Deluxe, 8 Deluxe. Wii U port that they, they ported over. If they do that with this game, I don't know if, like, one extra world for me would be worth it. If, if you've never played this game on the Wii U, even without the extra content, this game is worth $60. It's a fantastic game. But I beat this game to death on my Wii U, bro. Also... Good news with Paper Mario. It's being said that the Paper Mario game that's coming to the Switch is going to be an all-new game, and they're returning to the series um, roots. Um, I forget their exact wording. It was um, to the, the series true form fact or something like that, which is good signs. Bro, the best two Paper Mario games, Mario 64 and Paper Mario on the GameCube. I forgot the, the subtitle. Was it Thousand Year Door? On the GameCube, the whichever one was on the GameCube, those two were the best. And then from since then, we they went the whole switch up the camera angle route. And then the 3DS one was uh, the um, Paper Mario Color Splash wasn't bad, but it wasn't the tried and true RPG elements that I love in the Paper Mario game. So that would be lit. Seems like they're going back to its roots. We'll have to see, but. Here's my thing with these remasters, bro. These Mario remakes. Lit games. But if they're coming out around the same time Sony and Microsoft 
launching their new console. Nintendo seems to be countering these console launches with an explosion of Mario. Ma Mario is cool. I grew up on Mario. I've beaten every single major Mario game, bro. But you got shiny new state of the edge consoles and not just the consoles but you're gonna have games too bro halo infinite infinite i'm hyped to play halo infinite on my shiny new xbox series x at 4k 60 frames per second i'm totally hyped for that game bro and the game that i'm probably the most hyped for Fable 4 is heavily rumored, heavily rumored to be in production. If this is, if Fable 4 ends up being a launch title, R.I.P. Mario, bro. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I would much rather play a brand new Halo game than port of old Mario games that I've all beaten already. I'm just keeping it real, man. And so it's going to be, but either way, it's good to have content for everyone um come holiday holiday should be a great um great time if you're a gamer at all um whatever your console but i'm super 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 hyped for that xbox series x and the last announcement for this video outer worlds we got a launch date for outer worlds for the nintendo switch it launches on june 5th, June 5th, coming to the Nintendo Switch, Outer Worlds. I forget the developer, but the developer is now an Xbox first party studio. Bro, Microsoft, this gen. A lot of dudes are like, oh, they're going to have great hardware. But what about the software? Microsoft has bought a lot of studios, bro. They're going to have the content for next gen. Uh, my thing with Outer Worlds for the Switch, I have Game Pass. The game is free for me right now on Game Pass, and it'll probably run better and look better than the Switch version. But if you um, really, really want a portable version of outer worlds the switch is of course the best option and the game will be launching both physically and digitally on the switch all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out also this is the last day of the month to retweet on twitter on twitter march giveaway march giveaway what do you have to do let me take away my bro for a second march giveaway for the month of march march giveaway for the month of march redundant 60 dollar nintendo switch xbox or playstation code subscribe to my youtube channel two things you have to do be subscribed to the channel click subscribe and also follow me on twitter you follow me on Twitter, the first thing you're going to see, you got to retweet the tweet. You retweet the tweet. Right now, we have 159 contestants. I'm going to announce the winner. I don't know if I'm going to announce the winner on April Fool's Day because y'all going to be like April Fool's. April 2nd is when I'll announce the winner. I'm going to do it live in one of my videos. Randomly scroll through one of the retweets. You got it, bro. All right, dudes. We out, man. Stay safe. Don't touch nobody. Don't touch your face. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi1plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.